Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Rutan's Long Easy donated to Oshkosh Museum. Aspen Avionics receives approval for Promax PFD GFC 600 combo. Five B-24 Liberators located in Adriatic Sea. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lake. Let's get into today's stories. Rutan's Long EZ donated to Oshkosh Museum. One of Dick Rutan's babies made its way to be immortalized in the Experimental Aircraft Association Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Rutan's aircraft, a Long EZ, joins his longtime friend Mike Melville's own record-setting Long EZ in the museum's collection. The aircraft were built simultaneously at the Mojave Airport by both men before embarking on their maiden voyages together. Rutan felt it was only appropriate to bring the old friends back together. Dick Rutan said, quote, Since both planes, Mike's and my Long EZ Old Blue, were both built together and flown together, it's only fitting that Old Blue joins Mike's EZ for enshrinement in the EAA Museum at Oshkosh. We are in the process of making that happen, end quote. In an email, Dick said, quote, Old Blue's first flight was April 3, 1981, end quote. The pair set out on a world journey in 1997 when Melville expressed interest in taking his aircraft home to Johannesburg, South Africa. Not wanting to make the journey alone, he inquired of his longtime wingman, who soon figured they'd just as well turn the almost around the world flight into a true world tour. After some modifications to add some fuel capacity, the pair set out on the EAA Friendship Tour in their long EZs, visiting EAA chapters around the world. And coming up after the break, unleaded Avgas STC available via online shop. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Unleaded Avgas STC available via online shop. GAMI has announced the formation of its online G100 UL STC shop, allowing operators a streamlined, simple way to take advantage of their new unleaded Avgas. The wide-ranging STC received last year covers all gasoline-powered aircraft and engines within the FAA's type certificate database are approved to use G100UL. GAMI points out that their G100UL product is, quote, the first and only FAA-certified, totally lead-free, high-octane Avgas, end quote. The company is eager to make G100UL available in California in mid-2023, with additional coverage throughout the West Coast in 2024. General Atomic CEO comments on deliveries to Ukraine. General Atomic CEO Lyndon Blue commented on the war in Ukraine, quote, We have offered to train Ukrainian operators on these systems at no cost to U.S. taxpayers or the Ukrainian government. We have offered flexible options and recommendations for delivery. Recently, we offered to transfer two of our own company-owned training aircraft, plus the ground control station and other hardware required to operate them for the symbolic price of $1, and reiterated our offer to train the first cadre of pilots and maintainers at our expense, end quote. Sporties kicks off IFR month. Sporties is kicking off its IFR month with a series of special events to get pilots comfy in the clouds. Throughout the month of February, Sporties will be embarking on a four-week focus on the challenges and rewards of instrument flying. The month will see the release of a new YouTube series, interactive webinars, articles, live stream events, and contests. The goal is to encourage more private pilots to earn their instrument rating, get current, stay current, and enjoy more utility from their pilot certificate. 
Supersonic Airliner Eyes Production in 2024. Boom Supersonic has begun construction of the Overture Super Factory in Greensboro, North Carolina, with production of their aircraft expected to begin sometime in 2024. The Super Factory will be a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility located on a 62-acre campus near Piedmont Triad International Airport. The site will house the final assembly line, test facility, and customer delivery center for Boom's flagship supersonic airliner, the Overture. Over the next decade, the company expects to hire more than 2,400 employees at the location, with recruiting already underway. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aspen Avionics receives approval for Pro Max PFD GFC 600 combo. Aspen Avionics obtained approval from the FAA for new software enabling integration of a handful of autopilots with their EFD-1000 Pro Max primary flight display. The approval covers the GFC-600 digital autopilot, improving single pilot operation with streamlined control flows and PFD integration. In addition to the GFC-600 approval, the Aspen PFD gains selected altitude support for both TRIO and Bendix King AeroCruise 100 autopilots, as well as extended runway center lines on the MFD-500-1000 MAX multifunction displays. With the new software, the Evolution E5 Dual Electronic Flight Instrument is now a TSO'd electronic flight instrument system. The software unlock package for the GFC-600 digital autopilot upgrade runs $1,995 through any Aspen Avionics dealer. Aircraft owners should contact their installers regarding the availability of a GFC-600 Supplemental Type Certificate for their aircraft. Not all the changes require payment, however, with one extra coming free with version 2.12. Extended runway center lines now show up on the Evolution MFD-500-1000 MAX multifunction display. And after these messages, 5B-24 Liberators located in Adriatic Sea. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call? and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. 5B24 Liberators located in Adriatic Sea. Researchers from the University of Delaware and the U.S. military have discovered no fewer than five B-24 Liberator bombers in the Adriatic Sea, the body of water separating Italy's east coast from the west coast of Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, and Greece. The aircraft were lost while returning from bombing missions over Italy, plunging into the Adriatic's relatively warm depths after sustaining damage from Axis fighters and anti-aircraft installations. The lost bombers are linked to at least 23 Allied aviators declared missing in action during the Second World War. Researchers from the University of Delaware and the U.S. Defense POW-MIA Accounting Agency located the bombers in August 2022 during a two-week exploratory mission comprising Croatian archaeologists, scientists, divers, and military personnel. DPAA, which travels the globe for purpose of determining the fates of servicemen declared prisoners of war or missing in action, sponsored the undertaking. The search was predicated largely upon data gleaned by autonomous underwater vehicles, cylindrical, unmanned contraptions that methodically combed a 24-square-mile expanse of the Adriatic seabed for possible aircraft wreckage. Using side-scan sonar, the AUVs generated a preponderance of images and data, which in conjunction with additional data and images furnished by magnetometers and high-resolution video cameras led researchers to the downed B-24s. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.